Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm back again for Neat and Tangled as the guest designer this month and I'm going to be smushing a sentiment. I've got this great die which is one of their nice and neat dies and it says you can do anything and I thought it'd be fun to add one of the little squirrels from my favourite nut. So I'm going to start by creating my own smushed background paper which is what I'm going to be creating the sentiment with and I'm working on my craft sheet and I've got my distress inks and I've added the distress ink directly to the craft sheet and sprayed it with a water sprayer and then I'm using a piece of acetate to actually pick up the color and move it around on my cardstock. So this is some Bristol smooth cardstock so it is um, works really well with watercolors and has a high tolerance for lots of water which is great because I do add lots of water here. In between each color layer I'm actually drying it with my heat tool and that's purely because I didn't really want these colors to mix. The distress inks will reactivate if water hits them so I am trying to be careful. Some colors play well together and others don't and I didn't want to end up with sort of a brown muddy mess here so I just thought it was a bit safer to dry the colors and then there was less chance of that happening. So my second color, the first one was Wilted Violet. The second color I'm doing exactly the same process again and I've used was Mermaid Lagoon and the last color is my most favorite of all the distress colors and it's the Twisted Citron and this is a real bright sort of almost like a chartreuse style green. So in between each color I am cleaning off my craft mat and also the acetate sheet. Aren't they just so pretty together? So I haven't left a lot of um, white space here because I know that the this cardstock is a slightly different color to the base cardstock that I'm going to use later and I didn't want to have that difference. Even though it is a nice bright white cardstock, it is slightly different. So now just simply adding the die cut directly to the cardstock, holding it in place with some painter's tape and then running it through my machine. And I've die cut the sentiment a second time but this time with some white fun foam and this is how I like to pop up my sentiments on my card fronts. I find it's a really great way to add dimension especially on an intricate die cut without having to cut four or five layers and layer them up. So by leaving the fun foam die cut in place, adhering the die cut cardstock on top and allowing it to dry I can actually pop up a really intricate sentiment without having to layer it all up and or stick little foam squares behind it it's great it's a great technique it works really well for me okay so while that I've set that aside to dry now and while that's drying I'm going to color up my little squirrel I've stamped him just with some memento tuxedo black on some smooth white cardstock and I have set the lids for the Copic markers off to the side so you can see the colors that I'm using. So the E4s are a new color to me and I really like them. I don't buy many Copic markers anymore <laughs> because I figure as long as I have some from all the families I can make them work for me but I just saw the um, the tones of the E4s, I've had my eye on them for a very long time and I finally lashed out and bought them and I'm really glad that I did. They work, it's a really nice sort of a warm brown. They work great on hair, on animals, on critters they, um, and they blend beautifully together as well. So I really didn't do anything fancy with the colouring here. I just kept it really simple and instead of having a white tummy I did add some W, some of the warm greys to the tummy and a bit of pink to the ears. So I did decide to cut out my little squirrel leaving a small white border but there are matching dies for this set and that would make this a much faster process. Okay now my sentiment is dry and I'm just going to gently remove it from the fun foam. It is a large sentiment so I am taking my time here so that I don't pull it apart. I, When I rush things if I haven't let it dry properly I do notice that the cardstock can come apart from the fun foam but I've used the matte medium which is a nice stronghold and I have left it long enough so it worked perfectly that time. 
I've got a piece of light grey cardstock, it's a warm grey. I'm adding some ATG adhesive to the back of that and covering the whole front of my top fold card. I've also got a piece of white cardstock. It's cut just smaller than the front of the front of the card and I'm using that leftover piece of fun foam that I die cut the word out of and adhering that to the back of that panel with some ATG and then I find the ATG gun works better if I actually adhere it attach it to the cardstock and not the fun foam so that's what I was doing there I'm just roughly working out my placement of my sentiment and squirrel I thought it'd be fun to have him hanging off the sentiment itself and adding a little shadow to the bottom of the white panel using the matte medium again to add adhesive to the back of my sentiment and then I can just attach it to the top of the card. And the good thing about the matte medium, even though it has such a strong hold, it does give you a little bit of time to get your sentiment or your elements exactly where you want them before you commit. I've added some fun foam to the back of my little squirrel and just going to hang him off the Y in the You Can Do Anything because he obviously can if he can hang up there for a while he can do anything <laughs> I've got some sequins and these are from now they're called the peacock feathers sequin mix which is really cute colors purples and blues and greens which is perfect I thought for this color combo that I've used today I'm just holding them in place with some matte medium I just like to use my tweezers to help me get a grip because my fingers are too big but you know that's what tweezers are for and that's it for my card today thanks for joining me i'll be back again next week with another card for neat and tangled i look forward to seeing you then till then happy paper crafting bye <laughs>